This is going to be a very short tutorial on how to animate the clock. Uh, we're going to start with a new composition as always and we're going to set the um, time and resolution to 1080p at 24 frames per second as always and the duration is going to be one minute long. And click OK. And I am going to draw shapes you are going to do something better than this for yours, uh, but what I'm going to do is just draw squares for the hands. Uh, we'll do a second hand first, so I'm going to just go to about the middle. That's not close enough. Go to about the middle, and I want that registration point to be at the bottom center of my of each of my hands. So that way the rotation um, will work properly. The rotation needs to go around that point. If it's in the middle, it will just spin around like a top, so we don't want that. I'm going to set a keyframe on the rotation, and then drag my playback head right to the end, and I'm going to set this to a 360 degree rotation and that will just give me one full rotation. So in one minute the second hand goes 360 degrees all the way around. And I'm going to highlight that layer and press enter to rename it and I'll rename that second hand. And then just to be safe you can lock it. So I'm going to change colors now. Um, doesn't matter what you change your color to, just something to differentiate between the hands. And we'll do a minute hand now, so somewhere about here-ish. And you again want that registration point to be at the bottom center of the minute hand. And this one will get a keyframe at the on the rotation at the beginning. And then we can go to the end, and the minute hand will go six degrees in one minute. That'll take it to the one minute mark. So just like that. This exercise is to get you to think about timing and how to get your frames and keyframes to match up with a particular time. Okay, so now the hour hand. Uh, green, sure. Green sounds good. And I forgot to change the name on this one. I'm going to unlock that and change that to minute hand and relock it and then I will rename this our hand and I will set a keyframe on the rotation at the first frame and drag my playback head to the last frame and set that to a 0.6 degree rotation and that will give us one minute worth of clock animation. So, and there's a few ways you can um, get a little fancier with this if you want. I do expect to see a better clock design than this, but beyond that you can add a pendulum or you can add a frame hand if you want. A hand that indicates frames per second, uh, which is a, an imaginary thing, but um, I just uh, figured I'd let you add that in if you want to. Um, there's also a tutorial on how to make your second hand tick instead of just a smooth rotation. You can try that as well. Uh, but this is the basic idea. So have fun with it and uh, do make a nice looking clock design. You can do that in either Illustrator or Photoshop. So it'll, it'll pull in both of those formats. Okay, have fun.